our Konggang Kwanling with our Food Talk Specialist, Shia Shu in the studio. Hello. hello, hello. How are you doing? Have feeling healthy. Feeling healthy. Mm-hmm. What about Shia Shu and you? When Konggang Kwanlir, mo t u k p i r a n g i n a y o Whether it's your physical health or mental health. I'm not great at a lot of things. I'm not great at getting to bed on time. I'm not great at eating enough. Mm-hmm. I'm not great at exercising. But I am great at three things. Oh, three things. 일단 물을 많이 마셔요. Ah. I'm always drinking water. I'm always 잔소링 at my wife to drink more water. I'm always 잔소링 at my dog to drink more water. <laughs> 두 번째, 저는 맨날 자기 전에 치시를 써요. Ah. I floss every day. And I've been doing it since I was a college student. Oh. That was probably the most grown-up thing I did when I was younger. And I still keep it up. You bite into nail? You bite into nail, but it's like the gums. The gums. The gums. When something happens, it can stick with you for the rest of your life. If you have like issue with your gums, the gums. Then it, you know, Sensitive area. Right. So this is completely preventative. I will say one thing. So, s o r c h i k i this is kind of gross. That, u h n p a p u n i k a n h a n o n o n t o n g a n c h i k w a r a a n g a s o scaling a n a n g o y o Oh, wow. I did not get any scaling done at the uh, dentist for about five years. And when I finally went, when my dentist, that g a k a n s h i l m a n g e s s e o Oh, yeah, yeah. Because my teeth were still in perfect condition. Oh, yeah. 그만 관리를 하니까 <laughs> 5년에. Yeah, he, she was, she was, she really wanted to be able to tell me, ah, oh, no, this is terrible. Come more often. But, <laughs> 괜찮네, 괜찮네. 괜찮네. <laughs> 그냥 좀좀더 자주 오세요. <laughs> 세 번째는 stretching. And ah. this is, I think, the what the 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 thing that I could 건강 관리 제가 건강 관리 하는 것 중에서 probably I see the most active benefit from. Right. You know, I don't stretch every day, but more 일주일에 한세번 like 한뭐 삼십 분에서 한 시간 동안 wow. 그냥 you know I stretch out everything, and it makes such a huge difference. 필요해요. 맞아요. The older mm-hmm. you get, um, well, we are talking about ways to stay healthy, keep healthy with all sorts of stretching, drinking. water and also when it comes to some food as well. That's right. So last week if you tuned in we talked about 한국의 그뭐그뭐 감기를 보그 보아 주는 그뭐그 보약 같은 거. 보약 같은 거. 뭐 so 같은 거. foods that uh, kind of stave off colds are good for fighting colds or good when you have a cold. We talked about that in terms of Korean food. Now we're talking about the international edition. The international edition. What do people do around the world? Some 그러니까. things are strange. Some things are kind of universal as well. Um, the first one I want to kick off with though is something that I find so interesting. 그 러시아랑 뭐 다른 그 former 그 소비에트 그 국가에서 이렇게 많이 생각해요. 매운 음식을 드시면은 감기가 걸린대요. Ah, Russia is a Russia oh. and Central Asia and a lot of former Soviet states. 그래요? They believe that spicy foods will cause colds. <gasps> 한국이랑 정반대네요. 맞아요. So, 저, 한국에서는 <laughs> 고춧가루를 한 숟가락도 먹이잖아요. Because of all the vitamin C. <laughs> But I kind of understand it. 어느 정도 이해가 돼요. 왜냐면 그 엄청 추운 나라고 약간 매운 음식을 드시면은 그 땀이 나잖아요. Aha. So if you sweat and You know, you go outside and it's freezing cold. Then, yeah, maybe k a n g i r k a l i s u d o i t j o Right. Yeah, that is possible. That's a possibility. It's quite opposite from uh, here in Korea and maybe other places around the world too. So, for our foreign listeners uh, tuning in, how do you guys um, keep yourself from catching a cold? Or when you do catch a cold, what are your food remedies? Do you eat spicy food? Do you not eat spicy food? Yeah, let us know. Keep texting in as we talk about uh, a very universal one here. So spicy food to each his own. The e g o s in 전 세계적으로 하는 것 같아요. 맞아요, and that is chicken soup. Chickens, 닭, 당, 조림, 뭐 닭백숙, 국. Yeah, I mean, uh, 죽. Mm-hmm. I mean. It's that magical. It, it, what it is it's is, magical. It it's, really is. It, it, you know, in um, in, in the in the United States, it's something that they call Jewish penicillin <laughs> because <laughs> it's something that's really big among the Eastern. You know, it's something that's kind of really introduced to the United States through the Eastern European Jewish population <sighs> through through that uh, through that diaspora. It has everything you need to fight colds, right? So it has vegetables that have vitamins. 
It has water. Mm-hmm. It has a. It has protein, and most importantly, it's soothing. 그 소화가 쉽게 되고. 그렇죠. Yeah, you know, it's you know, chicken is much easier to digest than say beef is. Oh, okay. Mm, 소화가 잘 되고. 그리고 일단 그 수분기가 많이 있어서 it has you know gives you a lot of moisture and those fluids are so important they're so key. That's right. Are you now here is where it could differ. Mm-hmm. Some people would put some carbs into their chicken soup. Oh, absolutely. So do you do rice or do you do noodles? Do you have chicken rice soup or chicken <sighs> noodle soup? Kind of well, it depends on my mood. But if I had to choose one, <sighs> sir, sir, I, I have to go with the rice. What about you? I will also go with sal. Mm-hmm, I love p a p And there's something about like you know again like 한국에는 그 국밥은 우리의 그그 그 원조 패스트 푸드잖아요. Mm-hmm. You know there's so there's something about just you know like a warm you know like sopping soaking you know spoonful of rice that's just you know soaked up all that rich broth. It's magical. Yeah, it's really mm-hmm. filling as well. Yeah, so not only in Korea and the United States and as we've seen in the Jewish population as well. You know, chicken soup is also something that's enjoyed. Throughout many parts of Europe, in parts of uh, in other parts of Southeast Asia and uh, in China as well, whether it be congee or through a you know through a broth itself, I know in Southeast Asia you know uh, with chicken soup is also very much a thing when you're feeling sick or if you're just feeling you know a little hungover if you're just not in the best of condition. Right, ah, uh, chicken soup. 언제 먹어도. 맞아요. 맛있잖아요. 조금 독특한 거 있을까요? 맞아요. So this next one is quite unique. Um, passion fruit and onion tea in the Dominican Republic. 둘다 섞어서? 섞어서요. Oh, what? So this is something that's actually weirdly common. Not this combination. 이 조합은 흔하진 않지만. But so, so is that, and, and I looked it up. This is not just one of those things that comes on the top 10 weirdest cold remedies around the world. I, it turns out this is actually something that people actually will do. And so the idea is that passion fruit, quiet, a good vitamin, got to go, can't to do it. But the onion part, again, is something more common than you might think. So I, I, I guess so. Can the ku chua be from t u k i a n g Right. right. I, think it's, I think it's a one two punch, right? right? So with the so with the passion fruit, it's the vitamins. Can the yang panen? So just to put into perspective, Irbon is a do ku yang panen, ku kangi sit the hyoka ga it there. Can the they don't eat it there? So what they do is they smell it. Oh, nimse ru matel. Nimse ru matel. So the whole kind of idea, and you'll see other places that do something similar to this, is that the onion, yakan quarter bong t u l i n a n k i n So basically, it's a bong t u l i n d a So it kind of means it's like pop it open. You know, right. Kind of like you know, it's like you use that expression too, like when you say unclog a toilet. I see. Yes. And uh, you know, I guess the equivalent uh, expression in English would be sinus clearing. Yeah, it's a little more like satisfying right. than, than sinus clearing. Right, but. sinus clearing. And what's interesting is that oftentimes it's not actually the sinus. So like you know, pubigang. You know, like that the the sinus like being the part of like the nasal cavity, like in the back. You know, with all the fluids. You know, oftentimes we're just talking about the nose itself. Right, but right, But sinus right. clearing, I guess, just sounds so much more serious. Quarter p u n g t u l i n d a is so much more satisfying. Oh, yang pa man mata do. Yeah. 그런 효과가 있네요. Mm. I th- I remember 이게 유행이었는데 몇년전 or 몇달전 어, 양파 먹는 것도 아니고 냄새 맡는 것도 아니고 mm-hmm. 발 바닥에 <웃음> Bajai, I completely forgot about yes. that until now. Yeah, they would put uh, a sliced onion in, or oh, I guess the, on the bottom of your feet, and then you'd wear a sock and mm-hmm. 그리고 자요. 맞아요. 자고 나서 uh, you would just take it out. 근데 사람들이 막 uh, 감기 나아졌대요. Really? And it was 의심스러워. And actually, my friend tried it. 약간 감기 기운이 좀 있어가지고 그렇게 했는데. And so I don't know what that is, but it's some sort of detoxifying, I don't know, trend that was going around. For people who are just listening over radio right now, I am giving you the most skeptical <laughs> yes, look I've ever given anybody. The glare. But yeah, no, it, this really was a thing. I remember <laughs> this now. <laughs> onions, magical. But not just onions, but other members of the Allium family. 
garlic is also a very common cold remedy throughout the world. You know, uh, chicken soups often will contain garlic. Uh, they say that's full of powerful antioxidants. Mm -hmm. But I think the culture that takes it really to the next level is in Mexico, where they have garlic tea. Oh, manu cha. Manu cha. Now that's intense. I can see it. I can see it working, but I don't know if I want to do it. 저는 마늘 너무 좋아하지만 그냥 차로 타는 거는 I'm not sure if I can do it. 그냥 국물이 아닐까요? I mean, Crypto, 굳이... yeah, yeah, it's, it's garlic broth. Right? <laughs> Why would you say tea? Well, I mean, tea and broth kind of the same thing. Chicken broth is kind of like a chicken tea, if you think I, about it. It is, it mm. is. But it just it just doesn't sound like a beverage. You know, right. 음료 같은 느낌은 안 나잖아요. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, 한국 같은 경우는 흑마늘 그런 액기스 같은 것도 있고. 아, 맞죠, 맞죠. Yeah, so 흑마늘 or black garlic is uh, something that we enjoy here in Korea. I've never had it before. It's garlic that's been aged at a relatively warm temperature for about a month. It tastes terrible. It tastes like uh, it, it tastes kind of like uh, like garlicky candy like, because it gets very sweet. After it's very bitter, though. After it's also very bitter too. Yeah. So it's I think it's like it's hoboro in the same way that licorice is hoboro as well. It's sure. dark. It's kind of chewy and tacky and molassesy, but also bitter as well. Yeah, some other teas around the world. This one I can get behind. Golden tea, milk, and turmeric in <sighs> India. This sounds pretty good. To yeah. Me. Mm -hmm. So turmeric is kanghuang. But ah. most often times you'll see it just as turmeric, mm. and because udinaranen, you know, we don't use it too much as a native ingredient. So oftentimes, the Yangshik and the Weigukshik are made into the kind. So it's just turmeric turmeric으로 많이 찾아요. And so, and if you never had it before, you probably have because it's what gives kare its color. 그쵸. And one of the reasons why kare and mo ku tonganen eda damemyeonen it'll stain that plastic container yellow. It sure will. It really will. And that's the power of turmeric. It's part of the ginger family. Oh, yes, that's mm -hmm. right. It's actually, I never uh, saw what it, because I've always seen it ground up as a powder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just recently I saw it. It's a root. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. technically it's a rhizome. And it's basically, it's orange ginger. It looks like orange ginger. All mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. So, 황금차, mm -hmm. golden tea, 인도에서는. Yeah, and they also do this in South Africa. However, this one is much more intense. They don't actually eat it. So oh. what they'll do is 그, 그, 그 강황이랑 그 후추를 <gasps> 끓여요. 그래서 그 연기를 you breathe it in. <sighs> 숨 마셔요. So, and that will definitely just you know, like bong through your coal, like, yeah. you know, like, like nothing. That's got to be, I mean, and uh, it's spicy, but I imagine too... Uh, I think turmeric has a kind of like an antibacterial uh, sort of quality sure. to it. So if you inhale that steam, it might be good for kind of clearing out any bacteria that's, right. uh, you know, that might be causing per any potential sinus infections. Yeah, TB 있으면 눈 감아야 될것 같아요. 맞아요. And yeah. they do the same thing with garlic too, where you know, they just kind of sm smell it and yeah, just uh, get everything wide open. Yeah, clear those lines. Oh, it's the best feeling mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to just inhale that steam and just Oh, really is. All right. Well, here's another fascinating one. 독일에서는 뭐 맥주를 생각할 수 있을 것 같고. Sure. 그리고 뭐 맥주 그 독일에서도 우리나라 김치랑 비슷한 뭐 sauerkraut도 mm -hmm. 있고. 면역력에 좋을 수도 있고. Right. But do you associate Germany's with 달팽이? With snail? 달팽이. My goodness. So 달팽이 syrup, snail syrup is <laughs> all, is syrup? a is a very common. And this again, this is not one of those <laughs> things that maybe they one small village does. This is something that's available in most pharmacies. Ah, 아, 그래요. Yeah, 독일에 가서 볼수 있는 볼수 있는 거예요. <gasps> 이거 좀 흔한 그뭐 약은 아니지만 약간 because it's it doesn't have like an active ingredient in the way that like uh, cough syrup does. But this one is supposed to be there's something in snails that's supposed to be good for kind of coating your throat yeah. there's a mo like mo candy mo candy yeah, oh, maybe okay. yeah so we didn't have a mo candy in the morning and in the morning it's got a mo candy wow yeah. so is it so what is the syrup is, is it like the slime that the 
the snail leaves behind? I or? think it's synthesized nowadays because I, I really don't like the idea of a factory somewhere like freshly squeezing snails. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, essentially it is it, it is essentially the, the mucilaginous uh, substance that comes from snails. Yeah, it's it a real like thing it. though. It's, it's a treat to sore uh, throats and, and coughs. Yeah. Wow, 독일에서는 snail syrup. 약간, I don't really want to taste it, but it's a little bit I'm sure it, it doesn't really taste like snails. Mm, the snails don't really taste like much. I mean, it's a escargot. It's not. It's not. So escargot doesn't really taste like anything. It's, uh. a, it's more of a texture, and it just kind of tastes like butter and garlic, which is great. So oh, really? um, it might not taste bad. <laughs> so this next one is one that I really want to try. So kumquats, it, you know, the small uh, citrus fruit that you eat whole, it's known by a couple different names. It's either kumgyur or kumgam or kingum gum mm. so these are all they're all they all refer to kumquats but they're slightly different varieties but urinara yuja cha cha dam deman eso e kumgyullo cha ah. and i really want to try this it sounds so good i love kumquats yeah mm. well scotland 같은 경우에는 바닷밤이라고 있는데요 이건 뭘까요 literally 바닷바람 you just <laughs> go out they go say the that be, yeah they say that 그뭐 산바람이 안, 안, 안 아. 되고 you go out to the beach, you breathe in the sea air, so it's the salt and kusubunkiga, supposed to really help you with a cold. Wow. And then you follow it with rum and peppermint. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. But peppermint <laughs> and rum, that I don't know if those two go together. <laughs> well, in any case, there is so much more to, to look at internationally, the cold remedies. Well, people around the world, I hope you're not getting sick this season. And Chef Matthew, it's been a pleasure. No much time so you kiss me. Thank you very much. We'll have to see you next week. See you then.